for that item. We can also make these quantities round up. To do that, we can click on the details option and change from exact to round up. So now we have a quantity of 91 lineal meters. I'll move on to another trade. Let's say brickwork. I'll nominate that as a heading and I'll insert an item external bricks. I'll select that I want the vertical area this time and I'll show you that you can use a tool called select at the top here which allows you to grow, grab an existing shape when I put my cursor over an existing shape in the plan view it highlights that shape and I can now click down with my left mouse button drag that shape over and drop it against the item. The software then reports there's 254 square meters there which is based on once again if I right click on my quantity and go to properties a wall height of 2800. We can adjust these wall heights for example as I click down my list here of line numbers and I'll just make this a little bit wider we can see that we have a height 1 and a height 2. As I highlight for example here line 7 you can see height 1 and height 2 which is linked to point 1 and point 2 on the plan. If I was to change one of these heights let's say to 3500 for a weight raking wall the quantity is updated in the trade items list. We can also view this information in 3D if I zoom in on a section of the plan, you'll now see that that rake has been inserted on that wall. This is quite handy if there are a number of rakes or a number of different height walls. I can go to properties. Because I'm on line 7, it shows me which wall I'm dealing with on the plan. And I could change both ends to 3500, which adjusts the 3D view and also the quantity. At any stage I can click this Shapes Report which will bring up a report displaying the 3D image if I have the 3D View button selected on the ribbon. At any stage we can come back to the Trade Items view and insert a new trade for example Plasterboard H1 and I'll nominate Internal Walls as a subheading and we'll say 13mm plasterboard. I'll select once again vertical area. I'll go back to 2D view and I'll introduce you to the new shape button. Which if I click on the polyline button on the ribbon to tell the software I want to create new shapes and then select new shape on the left hand side. You can see here we can define up front shape names. For example, we could give it room names as we plot. We can nominate what colour we want to plot with, whether we want to use a normal, medium or thick line width, and also what pattern we used to use for our lines. We can also select whether the shape is going to be a deduction or whether we want to fill it with a particular car if we're taking off an area or volume. We can change a wall height and we can also use this factor tool if it was for both sides of the wall. For example, a factor of 2 will take off quantities on both sides of the wall. If I now zoom in on the plan, I could click the bedroom there, bed 4, which will tell me there's 17.91 square meters at a factor of 2 to give us 35 square meters and we have a shape name there of bed 4. If I now select new shape again I could change the factor back to 1 and use a different color for defining one-sided walls. Once again call it bed 4 and now if I click
we have an updated quantity of 53 square metres, which is made up of 17.91 at a factor of 2, which we might call, say, bed 4 double sided, and then bed 4 single sided. You'll see because my cursor is on bed 4 double sided, it highlights in green those two walls that I plotted. If I move the bed 4 single sided, it highlights the other two walls. I can also take out doors. To do this, I can go to the library and build up a list of window and door sizes, or if it's already on our list, I can click on the drop down arrow, select the size door that we need to insert. You'll see a cursor now trails, a symbol sorry now trails my cursor. I can position the door where I want it to be on the wall. Left click, which will insert that opening on the plan. If I now change my result type from vertical area to vertical area less openings, it's been adjusted to 50 square meters. And if I look in the bottom, the calc sheet information reports that the original area was 17.91, but we've taken out a door, 1.57 square meters. If I now look in the 3D view, you can see that door in the 3D view also. I'll apply a rate and we now have a budget for plasterboard. If I apply a rate here also, we have a budget for brickwork and the budget for concrete and then an overall budget at the bottom. This information I can now report. For example, if I click the trade report, We can produce a trade breakup style report which lists our trades, headings, items, quantities, rates and budgets for each item in the estimate. I can tell the software whether I want to have subtotals on my report or include GST on my report. I can select different style reports. This one is a full estimate summary, just showing our trades and their budgets with GST at the bottom. These reports we can export to Excel, a PDF file or a Word document. For example, if I click Excel, I can then save results as an Excel spreadsheet. Alternatively, if I close the report, back on the ribbon I can hit the Excel tool and the software will automatically dump that information to an Excel spreadsheet for me. I hope that gives you a brief insight into what BT2 can do for you. For more information please visit Buildsoft website at www.buildsoft.com.au Thank you.